Hello YouTube, welcome back. It's Jose Esbrano right here. Of Jose Esbrano Special Vehicles. This time you see Republican Space Ranger GT5. That was the last episode I'd ever seen on my computer. You see Luke and homosexual with, with Dick. Now the Vanessa. Vanessa is the first female and woman and doing the Space Ranger. But she was a talking the person was me. But Butch last burp when he eats the uh, disgusting fried food. So I never <laughs> eat that before. Yesterday I eat the pizza because one, someone told me that pizza has sometimes can be a protein. So um, Commander kills Luke in the Dark Man Mall. And you see the ad from the ammunition. So I uh, just skip that. And I stay on the episode on, on the GTA 5. So let's go ahead and start this video right now. Grab some water, stand up, keep moving, and enjoy the show. The show time. And remember, don't try this at home. But matter of fact, take first burp. I mean, one time of his burp during Butch apologizing and forgiving President Zane on the previous episode. Let's enjoy. Space Rangers! Intergalactic or on terror. But don't worry about it. Lateral damage our error. Cause we're new can hate, we're spreading freedom and liberty. Sometimes, Sometimes we, we kill, kill with undue glee. glee. Oh, was that your home? Sorry. Gotta complete the mission. And possibly deny extraordinary additions. Spreading American values. Sometimes, Sometimes you, you gotta, gotta bomb, bomb and open it or two. Republican Space Rangers! With the world turning more socialist by the day, who do you call Republican Space Rangers? They are Butch, the Commander, and Dick. In our last episode, the Rangers bravely attempted to save America by assassinating the President. Elated that his approval rating shot up to 98%, President Zane pardoned the Rangers and invited them for a low-calorie beer and a workout at the White House. I'm sorry we tried to kill you, Mr. President. We didn't like you because you're an alien and because you's a liberal. <laughs> oh, well, that's all right, boys. That's all right. Uh, I'm kind of shit-faced. <laughs> hey, let me show you something funny. <clears throat> if I tuck it between my legs, I look like a little girl, only hairy. Hoorah! Hooray! Well, I can guarantee you that that's going to be the last time we ever get invited back to the White House. Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. Hey, they can always rebuild that stupid monument, right? Perhaps, but they won't be able to get the wee-wee stains out of the First Lady's cocktail dress. <laughs> you do love a blackout, Dick. Always have. Gentlemen, if you can stay focused, I have a dangerous mission for you. I need you to pack this ammunition and hand it out at the mall. Hoo-wee! We're giving civilians live Rounds, it's a fucking land. Oh, no, no, no. Our new ammunition is knowledge. The what? These are military leaflets about how knowledge is understanding. The policy of don't ask, you don't want to know, has been lifted. Your job is to head to the mall to recruit. The U.S. military now allows anyone and everyone to be a space ranger. What the fuck? Anyone? You gotta be shitting me, egghead. Listen up. I will not, repeat, will not serve with women or... Open homosexuals! Oh, I love the mall. If you peek over the top of a changing room, whoo it's like a live show. I ain't handed out no fruity cake leaflets. I need real military hold-down shit. I mean, entire planets on fire, screaming children, you know, that sort of thing. Also, here are your new squad mates under our rewritten tolerance policy. Private Luke. Sir. And First Sergeant Vanessa. Commander. A g -g -g girl Girls fight like kitty cats. And a, a, a gay dude. How am I supposed to focus on killing the enemy's family and burning his house down if I'm worried about some guy looking at my hoo-ha? Now, it's a hoo-ha on the front of the back. Depends. I'll show you. It's in the back now. It's in the back. <clears throat> I can assure you that's not an issue. I've been in numerous theaters of war and won top honors and only have one piercing. The theater? Uh, you queers are all the same. Singing and dancing and carrying on with your musicals and whatnot. Soldiers, enough. Get to your bunks. Reveille at 0600 hours, mall at 0900. 
Shit! We're pinned down! Throw a grenade and I'll flank him! Dick, yeah. I want you. What? I fantasize about being physically and emotionally intimate with you and rubbing things all over your... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop right there! God! Damn it! I knew this would happen if they let fruits in the fucking Space Rangers! Listen, your kind has no business in the military. How does this feel? Oh, uh... Well, it's, uh... It's a, that's a fucking serious distraction right there. I'm a bottom. Take me! Give it to me! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Dick, you dumb shit! Wake up! Wake up! Why? Where? Why? How? Me? What the hell were you dreaming about there, soldier? Uh... Race cars, uh, uh, titties, uh, uh, bacon, uh, bacon titties, uh, an idealized vision of the past. I sure as hell hope so, son, especially the latter. Now, you get your ass moving. We got a report to the recruitment kiosk at the mall. Say... Ain't this beautiful? It is beautiful, son. About the most goddamn beautiful thing I ever seen. You see, it's what we spent all these months and years fighting for. Freedom. I'm speaking of the freedom to buy lots of plastic rack crap made in foreign countries by adorable slant-eyed kids in sweatshops. Crap that breaks and is instantly out of date, and the very act of buying it makes us feel inadequate because we can't afford the more expensive or up-to-date version no matter how much fucking debt we take on. It's the only kind of freedom that matters. And how? Maybe not the only kind. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's get this lame-ass mission over and done with. Hand out these leaflets in an efficient and responsible manner, then get back to the base as soon as possible and try to get deployed on a serious combat mission. You token fruit malingerer. <clears throat> yeah, listen up. What we'll do, boys, is hand out these here leaflets in an efficient and responsible manner, then get our keisters back to base as soon as possible to try to get on another serious combat mission. Yes, sir. Hey, you, you look queer. You're reading. It ain't even a porno. Have a lately. Just like I thought. A rival rousing pinko. Soldier, I'm recommending you for a minute. But that man... And you. I had about enough of you. What do you mean? I... Don't oh, you! Oh, Jesus! <sighs> Scramble! Buster, Buster! This is Fox Trot Delta Bravo Leader. Repeat, Fox Trot Delta Bravo Leader. We got a KIA at the mall here. Ah, shit! Insurgents are all over us. We're going for immediate backup. Send them in, send them in. Get us off, get us off. We got Charlie all over our asses on this hill. Free men are dying out here. Oh, damn. Oh. a brave ranger and now he's gone and that's what happens when we get sent into tough combat situations with inadequate support due to congress being run by liberals and and pseudo liberals and pseudo people who hate pseudo fucking america sure the boy was a butt pirate but he died like one too and anyone who says the space rangers won't let careers get shot in the line of duty is simply a big guy not living in this here century but just so we're clear straight boys did an even better job but what about reports of innocent people getting caught in the crossfire fuck that that is category one bullshit ma'am what kind of innocent person comes to a freaking shopping mall anyway that's all I got time for. I gotta go take a dump. God bless this country. Excuse me, Commander. Commander, uh, Elena von Sorensen. If I may, you boys, you did great out there. Well, we just, we was just doing our duty. You just might be perfect for the new movement brewing. You know, I think I'm about ready for a movement and I need to do my duty. Ooh, is it like a club? I like clubs. 
secret handshakes and rituals with crackers and walking like pachyderms. Yes, yes, it, it is kind of like that. You know, you have to be careful, gentlemen. Without knowing it, you are supporting the liberal agenda that is determined to destroy America for reasons none of us can ever articulate. But it has something to do with them being overeducated and looking down on hardworking people like us. So much so they want to patronize them by giving them opportunity. And how? It is a terrible shame, ma'am. Well, all I am saying is you all need to come to a meeting. Now, we will give you some real leaflets to hand out. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can remember my reading. Uh, it says here, do you hate foreigners? Do you hate progress? Do you hate giving money to people who's doing nothing to deserve it? Then you may be perfect for the coffee grinder. That is right. And with that, it's back to you, Bruce, in the bunker. I mean, studio. Say what? Uh, don't worry, don't worry. You are among friends now. God for that. Friend. Public, Public education, education is socialism. socialism. Well, well, well. Just look at all these honest, hard-working folk expressing their God-given views. Hey, and they're handing out free beers and chicken wings. Ooh, ah. Well, I tell you what, this is my kind of rally right here. Even more fun than that one when we wore them silly hoods. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, our boys, shout this while you'll fit in and feel manly. Well, thank you, sir. Who do we hate? Ourselves! What are we doing? Giving tax breaks to the rich! What do we hate? Equality! What are we doing? Fucking ourselves in the can! In the can! Well, I tell you what, this is just great. Everyone's pulling together for the good of the nation. I am turtling something fierce. I got a pebble poking out. And I could use a comfort station as well. <laughs> that chimichanga's blasting through me at hyperspeed. Ooh, uh. Man, we's all going to the bathroom Why together like girls. Complex scientific theories. Well, Edmund, this just might work. Yes, Fitzgerald, yes. After our last successful campaign, anything is possible. And I say to you that what we need is more Christmases and Thanksgiving. <laughs> I want to get basted. Now, who's with me? Now, we only need to find the perfect patriotic halfwit to run as our coffee grinder candidate for president. Yeah, which we will back with a billion dollars and take ownership of Congress and the White House and deregulate to our heart's content. <laughs> you have a heart, brother. <laughs> you softy. <laughs> oh, my bowels. Oh, where do those assholes go? Man, I'm gonna drop a bomb out my ass that would melt the city into glass. The Coffee Grinder Party is about turning public schools into shoe factories. And, uh, sir, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Sir, oh my god! <laughs> The fellow that tried to assassinate the president urinated on the first lady and blew up the Washington Monument? Ah, and now he's literally taking a crap on the United States Capitol. <laughs> I think we may have found our candidate, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Will the creepy billionaire brothers hatch their evil scheme? Will Dick become the next president of the United States? Will Butch become the first lady? Find out next time, only on Republican Space Rangers. Wow, that was intense, right? You see, Luke got shot with the gun. Do not throw this at home. But you see the butch burp. That was last burp. And Dick went to the, the White House like toilet. I was mortified. No one should ever try that on the stage. I should not do that on the stage. As is any the president, that was bad for my health. Okay, before I end this video, see the previous video, my friend watched the video on the GTA 4, the, the complete edition of Republican Space Rangers. What was the assassinating the president, assassinating the alien like squid. So that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Good night. We'll see you next time.